Hi, I'm Connor McClendon, reporting for The Transcript. With all the attention on the 2016 election season, we at The Transcript decided to take a look back at the legacy that current President Barack Obama has left behind. State and fate of the health insurance law, or Obamacare, is front and center today. And the United States is convinced that it has the body of Osama bin Laden, the mastermind of 9-11, the architect of Al-Qaeda. Last year was the best year for job creation since 1999. Uh, you've got uh, more people with health care coverage. You've got a stock market that has more than tripled since this president has been in office. Barack Obama gave one of his final campaign speeches endorsing Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton in Durham, New Hampshire the Monday before the election. We decided to talk to locals who came out to see the president speak about the legacy that they believe he left behind. I think like I think it's positive coming out of like such like a tough period. I think like I don't know he kind of kept us above water. I feel like some of the things like not just like killing Osama, but like gay marriage being legalized and like the Iran Iran like nuclear deal. I feel like I feel like history will look back pretty fondly on him. Uh, and finally, are you excited to see him speak today? Yeah, I'm really excited. I've been here since like seven o'clock. <laughs> I think I've been greatly blessed to have a man that we're not going to see again for a long time. I think his sense of decency is overwhelming. The Obama, to not to his credit, went on national TV. I don't know, you guys are too young to remember SNL in the old days. But he went on TV while his orders were allowing the bombing of women and civilians in Libya and said, we're not here for empire, which in the Saturday Night Live skit, the land shark, the land shark knocks on Gilda Radner's door and she hesitates in opening the door and she said, who's that, who's that? The land shark says, it's not the land shark. <laughs> But the land shark was lying, obviously. Obama, you know, he ran as the, the peace candidate, and when he won, I, I was going to give him a chance, actually. You know, as a Republican, I'm a Rand Paul fan, more of a libertarian type uh, Republican. And I, I gave him the, the benefit of the doubt. I said, all right, let's see if his rhetoric proves true. Not a single thing he said that he ran on did that man do, other than, well, he did one thing. He did transform America, that's for sure. For the better, I don't think so. He really moderated it quite a bit. He, he, he's tried to stay in with his generals and with the systems that are in place right now. Uh, but he did do some interesting things. He normalized relations with Cuba. That's huge. Uh, but my thinking on Obama is mixed. I am going to miss him tremendously. I think he's done a wonderful job with this country in spite of being um, the Republicans combating with him every step of the way uh, to try to get things done. And I'm looking forward to having Hillary in, but, I, you know, I will miss Obama. Look, we got manufacturing growing again over these last eight years, first time since 1990s, and Hillary's going to keep that going. She's put forward the biggest investment in new jobs since World War II. She's got plans to grow manufacturing, boost people's wages, help students with college debt. That's why she should be the next president of the United States.